wish I knew what Pokemon you can catch in this cave that no that can learn Flash. Oh, I think there's like actually there's, I think there's only one Pokemon in there, which is a rare which is um a Sableye. Yeah. Which is like I only found one when I was actually on the bottom floor of the cave. I case. think Meditite might be able to, but. The question is, can I find Meditite in this cave? Mm hmm. Oh, okay, I got confused from a single confusion. Great. I don't know why I feel this, but I feel in like the newer Pokemon games now, um, confusion has gotten a lot more forgiving. Like, you won't get as hurt hurt as much from it as you would in the older games. Yeah. I don't know. I don't really play the um, newer games as much. So... Mm. But I do I mean, have a I lot like... of experience with the old games. I, I don't know, it can be very random. Mm. Like sometimes confusion will be very, very forgiving to you. And then sometimes people mm. just not want you to do anything. Mm. So why I don't really bother using confusion or you know anything that actually only afflicts confusion, like Confuse Ray or um, Supersonic, because they're just so unreliable. Mm. If anything, right. you teach us. If you're going to give a Pokemon that can know confusion or something, you give it a move that like Psychic or something, and it has a chance of confusion. So. At least yeah. you're doing something, and then it gives you the chance of it. I mean, the only move I really like that inflicts confusion is Swagger, because that's yeah. uh, really quite effective and competitive. Mm -hmm. uh, dogs go, no, I am actually not going to get Pokemon Alpha or Sapphire or Omega Ruby. Or at least at, when it first comes out. I'm going to wait a while. Because I got super hyped up for Pokemon X and Y, so I pre-ordered Pokemon X, and when it came out I was actually really disappointed. Mm -hmm. And to be honest, I haven't been thrilled with, well I wasn't thrilled with Pokemon Heart Gold and Soul Silver. So I'm, so I'm kind of in two minds about how good the remakes are actually going to be. I'm considering it's, you know, it's what? Thirty pounds, or uh, what? Forty, fifty dollars? I don't know how. Yeah, it's like forty-five bucks, probably. Yeah, it's not really something I particularly want to spend my money on. I'm gonna still get it because, like, I just want to see how it is. And if I like it, I'll stop. Or if I like it, I'll keep playing. If I don't, I'll stop playing and probably return it. Yeah, I don't British... like returning games, well, especially mm -hmm. since I've. I like to order via Amazon. Oh. I mean, that would be a lot more effort to set up. Mm -hmm. I just well, I just drive down to GameStop and then buy it and then come home and play. And if I don't like, I return it back. For like, I'm pretty sure if you return a game on like the day you buy, you can get it back for full price. So I just do that. I would actually disagree with that, Dogsco. I'd say the newer games are harder. Uh, one of the issues I had with Pokemon X was that because I didn't bother doing the super training, uh, hmm. I found the game really difficult and I ended up just using my Charizard, which was the most super trained on my team. I just mm -hmm. you know, garbaged essentially five other Pokemon. Because uh, they just weren't thought. useful. Whereas in you know Pokemon Generation One, I play that all the time. Play you know Pokemon Red hacks and Pokemon Gold and Silver hacks, and they are super easy, fun but super easy. Mm -hmm. I'd say a game that probably fits the balance somewhere in between is either well Emeralds because I still feel that's like the perfect difficulty for me, and then maybe actually Black One. The black one was easy, but still had challenge to it. I 
kind of liked Pokemon Black and White, but at the same time, something did get... something did just make me bored of it, and I gave up after a while. Oh. I gave up. I actually liked, or I didn't like Black 2 and White 2, just, well, one, because it was a sequel and it wasn't really that good, and it was way too hard. Because you had to spend at least a week or so just grinding up at Victory Road so you can get your Pokemon like level 60 for the Pokemon League. I never even got to Victory Road. Mm -hmm. uh, I think in Black 1, oh, I got to the Flying Gym Leader, whichever that one was, but oh. then I gave up. Mm -hmm. It's just stopped playing because... I couldn't be bothered to grind up my chandelier or whatever. Litwick, that's the one. I didn't want to grind that up to evolve it and make it useful. Mm -hmm. And in Black 2, I didn't get much further than... I didn't go into the... Um, I didn't go after the Team Plasma in the big city. Oh. Oh yeah, I know what you're talking about, yeah. Yeah, I got to the big city and then I just kind of quit. I don't know mm -hmm. why. Well, I can see why you quit, because I did get bored of them both pretty mm. easily, but I just kind of kept pushing myself to play it. I don't know why I did, I just kept yeah. playing it for some reason. And then I beat it and then I felt very unsatisfied with it. Oh! Hell yes. What? Navigation, navigating a uh, darkened cave like a boss. <laughs> I can speed this up finally. Oh, I got steel wing. I oh, know, black and white too. With the name, it, it kind of fits. I mean, it's a direct sequel. I'm still disappointed that it wasn't Pokemon Grey, to be honest. Or, mm, more specifically, I'm disappointed that there wasn't a Pokemon Grey that was literally just, you know, somewhere in between Pokemon Black, and then it would go straight onto somewhere in the middle of Black 2. Black and White 2. You know, they need to do compilation games, if you will. Mm -hmm. Something like, um,. You know, Johto games, you know, Generation 2. Because I really liked Gold and Silver's two region kind of mechanic. Think, yeah. That was really and then, cool. I mean, I wish they did that with, like, um, what's it called? Maybe Black 2 or White 2, because they did mention a lot of the other regions in the game, and they had the whole world tournament thing. So they could have easily just added, like, another region to make it better. Yeah. I mean, that's what everyone was hoping for with um, X and Y. What with the um, DLC being more favorably viewed by Nintendo. Everyone mm -hmm. was hoping they'd introduce DLC new regions. But we haven't seen a squat of that yet. Mm -hmm. Who knows? Maybe one day... We can get a Pokemon game that's perfect. Just everything we need. Regions, good Pokemon. Because the one thing I didn't like about X and Y was just... There weren't that really many good new Pokemon. Hmm, what is my favorite region? Um... I'd have to say Kanto. I mean, I did a Let's Play of Pokemon Leaf Green. And honestly... The only reason I chose Leaf Green over Ruby, Sapphire, or you know, even Gold and Silver was just that I really like Kanto. I just I'm so familiar with all of the various gym leaders, all of the Pokemon, all of the roots. Mm -hmm. uh, Pokemon Blue was the first game that ever I ever played, and the one that got me into Pokemon. So. Both mm -hmm. nostalgia and just good design. I mean, I like Johto and Hoenn as well. But after that, I, I can't really... 
Grasp I don't them. like Sinnoh, and I don't like the region New Nova. That's the one, the one from Black and White. Yeah. And then Kalos but is just. Kalos is all right. I can remember mm. a lot more of Kalos than I can of either Sinnoh or New Nova. For me, it's actually sort of the opposite. I can remember more of Sinnoh than New Nova and Kalos. It just. It might have been that um, Diamond was the first um, DS game I might have, I ever bought. That might just have something to do with it. And I played it a lot. Mm. Have I ever played Pokemon Yellow? Yes. I actually I originally owned the cartridge of Pokemon Yellow. And I actually got it after I lost my Pokemon Blue. I still have no idea where my Pokemon Blue went. Yeah, just mysteriously disappeared one day. So I got Pokemon Yellow as a replacement. I didn't find it hard. You know, okay, Pikachu's not the best Pokemon in the world, especially when you can't evolve him. But uh, mm. it was fun. I liked being able to get all the starters. This has changed from the Pokemon Emerald race to I answer Dogs Go's questions. <laughs> and so I caught an Abra, I taught it Flash, and it had one sole purpose in life. It was supposed to flash the Makuhita so that the Makuhita would just keep missing. Flash missed and Makuhita one shot it. Wow. Oh, come on! No! I just lost again. You're fighting Brawly right now, too? Yeah. Uh, oh that God, Makuhita too... is just... It's, it's bullcrap, to be honest. I just Whitney's missed mil with Flash, and I missed with Mudshot. So it's... I'm reduced to my Zigzagoon and my rules. <laughs> it's the Whitney's mill tank of Halloween, basically. I don't understand why I'm missing. It's not like it's got an ability that makes it harder to hit. Just awful, awful luck. Crap. Hmm. I was trying to do double team bullshit. Yeah, I'm missing against the Makuhita and then, you know, trying to have accuracy hacks on my side isn't working because it's hitting through double team. <laughs> okay, that failed miserably. Please tell me you're having as much difficulty as I am. I'm still on Metadate, so I'm having terrible troubles with this. Just because I picked the worst Pokemon for this to catch, and I caught an Aeron, now it's completely useless in this gym, so I have to rely on Grovile again. Just sitting there, absorbing away. You should have caught a Zubat or something. I know I should have, but it's too late to... I, if I lose at this, then I'm going to go back and catch a Zubat or something just to teach it. Or just mm. to give it so I have a flying move or something to use. Because, I mean, Zubat is four times resistance because it's poison flying, so it'll take barely any damage from yeah. any fighting type moves. Plus, I'm about to run out of absorbs. I, like, I can only use it three more times and then I have to rely on quick attack for the rest of the battle. <laughs> doesn't help me. Have you evolved your Trico yet? Yeah, it's a girl while now. Okay. Plus, it's almost level 22, so after that, 16 more levels to go. Wait, what level does Aaron evolve into Laron? It's like 30, right? I have no idea. Oh. <laughs> no, in Pokemon, I'd probably somewhere around 30. And then probably 45, at least. Probably, yeah. See, right, if it was a Generation 1 Pokemon, I could easily answer that. I know pretty much. I know a lot about Generation 1. I won't go as far to say I know anything, everything that there is to know, but I know a lot. Mm -hmm. But with the late gens, just... I guess I stopped caring about looking up everything. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, oh. I could go... Hmm. Right, I would much prefer to grind here and then beat the gym 
so that I don't have to waste time coming back here later. So, Wait, guys. Oh. Hmm. All right. I could wait until I get fly. Wait, does Vital Throw do more damage every time it's used? Uh, I believe Vital Throw, the only gimmick of that is that it always hits last. Alright then, because it feels like it's doing more d damage, because it started off with 20, now it's almost killing me in two hits. And it's just really great. Okay, super potion. Oh my god. So I just leveled up rules. And mm -hmm. it was just a sea of plus ones. I didn't realize just how poor its stats were. I really need to curl here before I try and take on Brawly. Mm -hmm. Otherwise it's, just, it's not going to be useful <laughs> at all. I feel like we're going to probably have to spend like each of us 20 minutes just grinding up to get good levels. You might. Mm -hmm. I think I'm going to take up Dog's go on his suggestion and go back on the boat. Mm -hmm. Hi, Pokerchard. Oh. I assume that's how you want to pronounce your name. Pokerchard123, or maybe it's Pokerchard. But it's a C, not an S. Welcome to the stream. Mm -hmm. I miraculously have a Ralts on this race, and I'm not actually behind, supposedly. Mm -hmm. Come on, alright, this is my chance to use bulk up, now I can get some hits in. Do you have any viewers? No, remember I couldn't get my stream to work because Xbox oh. was being... Yeah, it wasn't working. So, so I, you're I just tried... recording? Yeah, I'm just recording right now, and even then I'm getting some problems because I haven't fully set up my visual board to run at the best frames. <sighs> alright, yep, I'm just gonna go back on the boat so I can catch a wingle. And then I'm probably just gonna go down to the cave and train. Right, quick check. We've been going for two hours nearly. Jesus. It doesn't feel like it's been two hours, it feels like it's been at least an hour. Yeah, I know, right? It just like because I've never played Pokemon Emma for this long of a period of time. Well, I know. Because uh, um, I. Did, ended up doing some streaming on the days when we were meant to start this. Mm. I ended up streaming Pokemon Quartz and Pokemon Brown. Mm. And even though I really hated them... Oh, I, well I didn't hate Brown, I hated Quartz. But I still ended up doing about one and a half hours. Mm. Um, I swear it took forever to get for one and a half hours. <laughs> Like it went so slow. This is really different, I guess. Maybe mm. it's just because we're in the, the call and I've got talking. viewers asking me questions. Yeah. So. I mean, it's just we, it's a game we really enjoy, so it's just going fast. I mean, like you said, you didn't really enjoy Quartz, so it probably took forever. Mm. Mm. Yeah, Brown was a bit better, but I only did. I found out afterwards that I'd only been doing it for like 40 minutes or so, so it actually hmm. was really short. Do you want to go for another hour and then see where that takes us? Or do you want to... Uh -oh. Yeah, I think another hour is probably a good idea. Alright then, so in that case, then like, or in my case it'd be 6.45, in your case it'd be... 11.45? Well, we may as well go until on the hour. Mm, that's true. Just oh, make oh. It seems more convenient. Mm. Alright. See ya, dogs go. I uh, linked my channel in the chat, so uh, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed.
So where are you up to right now? Well, I didn't finish beating Brawly, so I just went back on the boat. All oh, right. All the way to the beach. Now I'm fighting a bunch of trainers, getting some XP for all my rules. So we're we just gonna go till the hour, or gonna go one more? Oh, I meant as in um, go to midnight. Oh, for okay. Me. Yeah. And then for me, it's no, it's not, it's seven. Then all right, then that's good. Well, now I need to get through the painstaking process of catching a marrow. Or not a marrow, I mean a wingle. Did you beat Brawly? No. Okay. That's why I'm trying to catch a wingle. Because I need... Well, or I can go back... Wingle wouldn't help much. Mm. Or I can go back to the island, catch a sable eye, and then he'll never be able to hurt me. Well, unless he has foresight. Hmm. Well, I mean, his Makuhi I know definitely doesn't have Foresight. I know it has Bulk Up, I believe, Focus Punch, uh, Vital Throw, and Reversal. Huh. I don't even know how I remember that. I should probably have caught the Sabli I found. Hmm. I ended up just killing it. I'm actually going to go back and get that Sabli now, because that's actually a pretty good idea. I didn't bother catching it just because... I have no interest in using a sabli on my team because it's pretty awful. Mm. I'm probably just gonna use it for the gym and then put it in the butt PC. Mm. Probably the best thing to do. Mm. Oh, I got some soft sand. Mm. Probably gonna give that to my. Who am I going to give that to? I could give it to my Flygon, but I'm not sure... Well, I might teach him Earthquake, I guess. Mm. Let's find this guy. Jeez, I just noticed. Mm. So you know how tubers are a type of trainer? Yeah. Uh, and they've, you know, they're just trainer sprite. They've got that um, big ring around them. Mm. But have you ever looked at their bodies inside of the ring? They're like scary thin, they're like inhumanly Jeez. thin. Alright, time. Mm. Time to catch a sableye. Well, this is gonna take a while. So wait, you've already done the cave and stuff and gone and talked to Steven already, right? Yep. Great, now I'm behind again. Sucks. Well, who knows, maybe I'll get lucky and I'll somehow magically run through the cave and get to the end somehow. I'm pretty sure my Zigzagoon has had an item on him for quite a while and I've just kept forgetting to take it off him. Mm hmm. I need to check Aaron's ability because I feel like he has something that's making me so he can't escape from battle. I know Trap Inch has the arena trap, which is on. Yeah, but I'm fighting a Zubat and I don't think that has. Like, for some reason, whenever I use Aaron to try to run from a battle, it just says can't escape. And then as soon as I switch to Grobile, I can escape on the first try. It's weird. <laughs> what? My Zigzagoon. Retrieved potion from Zigzagoon. I've had a repel, an escape rope, and a potion. Wow. Well, seriously. Okay, maybe because I, I think it was Pokemon Quartz that I had the other Pokemon to pick up. Maybe it was just that they'd hacked pick up to give it decent, to make it only pick up decent items. But mm. I'm fairly convinced I am just having the luck of someone who's very unlucky. Hmm. Maybe the game just gives it what you... Um, maybe the game just gives you what it thinks is good items at your point in the game. So, like, maybe later in the game it'd be useful, actually. Oh, no, because no, I picked up the three nuggets when I was at this stage in courts. Oh, wow. Hmm. Maybe... Wait, was it a zigzagoon that you used to get those nuggets? Uh, yeah, oh. well, it was the Zigzagoon replacement, because Quartz 
There are uh -oh. some places everything was hacks hack ones. Oh. Uh -oh. So we could say maybe it was this, just the Pokemon news, but nope. Some more super potions. I can only afford four super potions. I am poor. Yeah, it only has sturdy, so why can't you escape from battles? Oh, actually, I have a Stardust that I can sell. One down. Mm, it's alright, I guess. Got enough. Yeah, I've got oh. enough Pokeballs, I think. I don't need any more, but... One antidote might be clever. Mm -hmm. So that's how I... Oh, right, so that works. I don't know why I ran through here. This is not going well. Boring battles aren't worth the effort. Fiery hot battles are what toughens up trainers and Pokemon. Words of wisdom from Beauty Johanna. <laughs> Which do you prefer? Do you prefer having you know, a game where you can just sweep everything? be really really powerful would you prefer having more really intense battles where you, know, you have to use stuff like leech seed and actually mm. using status effect moves like for competitive or just regular Pokemon regular like? i mean mm. obviously everyone wants difficult com well everyone wants reasonably easy competitive battles yeah but i'd say Probably sweeping team, because that's just more satisfying for me. Yeah. Just to take down an entire team with a single Pokemon. Alright, well. Oh, sweet. Welcome back, Dogs Go123. Alright. Oh, gotta find my way out of this cave, because I have lost myself now. Yeah, and feel free to yell at me if I'm pronouncing your name wrong or whatever. And I pat myself in confusion. Oh wait, did I find it? Did I... Wait, actually, why am I just repelled? That's a my fine idea. I am having so much trouble with confusion in this game. Maybe it's just <laughs> this generation, because... I've been confused, like, three times, and every time, just, boof, hit, hurt themselves in their confusion. Hmm. Oh, if I have a stone. Okay. That's Watch nice. I'll sell that later. Mm -hmm. Here we go, finally. Oh, okay. Finally made it out of there. And now I can finally talk to Steven. Oh, did you make it through to Steven? Yep, finally made it. Here we go. Uh, oh, now I uh, skipped Brawly's gym, Dog's Go. <laughs> get myself a curlier before I even dare. So I'll probably just you know, wait until I get a Pokemon with Fly. Because there's no mm. point wasting time taking the boat. Mm. Yeah, we can. Steven. Finally I can get out of here and now I'm caught up. And wow well, that'll be great. Hmm. Sweet. Actually, soda pop is a lot more useful than the super potions I just bought. Awkward. Mm -hmm. So now I'm starting to consider getting a Makuhita, because why not? I don't have any fighting type planned out, so might as well. 
Oh, well, yeah, I was seriously considering using a Hariyama. I mean, it, it does have pretty decent stats. I mean, okay, it's not a very fast Pokemon and its special defense, I think, is pretty awful. But it's a pretty decent tank because it's got yeah. high HP and high, well, reasonable defense. And its attack is actually pretty pretty high. Mm -hmm. uh, the only issue, of course, with any fighting type is that they don't really have good um, move sets. Mm -hmm. 